Hello, welcome everyone. In this presentation, we are going to study about metabolic alkalosis. We already studied respiratory acidosis, alkalosis and metabolic acidosis. Okay. So, the last disorder is metabolic alkalosis. We know that what is metabolic component? So, always carbonic acid is respiratory component, bicarbonate is metabolic component. Okay. Metabolic alkalosis means alkalosis means increase in the pH. Okay. There is more pH. Okay. Normal than the more, so more than 7.45. This increase in the pH due to increase in the bicarbonate. So, our bicarbonate is metabolic component. Okay. Increase in the bicarbonate or there is loss of hydrogen ion. Okay. Or decrease in the acid. So, suppose the denominator is decreasing, acid component is decreasing, then also there may be alkalosis. Okay. There are increase in the metabolic alkalosis is due to increase in the pH, which could be due to increase in the bicarbonate. Alkalosis means base. There is increase in the base or loss of acid. So, the increase in the base, the reason for increase in the base, increase in bicarbonate is mainly due to is usually therapeutic actually okay usually administration of administration of alkali especially bicarbonate we usually some patient requires bicarbonate okay soda bicarbonate maybe to treat cardiac arrest cardiac arrest so and so, so many disease requires administration of bicarbonate depending upon the acid base disorder okay if you give more bicarbonate then definitely more base it will lead to metabolic alkalosis similarly if you are suffering from acid peptic disorder or peptic disorder we will be giving patient antacid okay ranitidine no problem. so many antacid or even gel antacid gel they try to neutralize hydrogen ion okay so that definitely there is loss of hydrogen ion Okay, because these antacids try to neutralize hydrochloric acid, so definitely they end up in loss of hydrogen ion. So, if there is loss of hydrogen ion, there is respective increase in the base. So, another important reason increase in the bicarbonate, loss of, loss of hydrogen ion is mainly due to upper GI fluid loss. Whereas metabolic acidosis we studied, there is loss of lower GI fluid through diarrhea. So upper GI fluid loss means if it is any prolonged, prolonged vomiting. So we know that in the stomach we have hydrochloric acid. If there is vomiting for a longer duration, there is severe and prolonged vomiting, along with the upper GI fluid, patient tend to lose hydrogen ion also. So loss of hydrogen ion or increase in the increase in the bicarbonate is mainly due to therapeutic but the treatment purpose if we give bicarbonate or maybe antacid then there will be increase in the bicarbonate and the loss of the hydrogen ion is due to severe prolonged vomiting where patient tend to loss or lose upper GI fluid along with the hydrogen ion. This is the two cause. Another cause an interesting uh, feature is hypokalemia. This is interesting to note this because this is cause as well as effect. Okay. Hypokalemia leads to metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis there will be hypokalemia. Hypokalemia means hypokalemia means decrease in the potassium. Normally in the kidney tubule there will be secretion of hydrogen ion and potassium okay, in the tubular fluid. When there is less potassium, we call hypokalemia. When there is less potassium in the blood, we call hypokalemia. So, if there is less potassium, more and more hydrogen will be lost. More and more hydrogen will be lost means loss of hydrogen ion. It will lead to metabolic alkalosis metabolic alkalosis okay so this is hypokalemia is one of the cause for metabolic acid now we will see metabolic acidosis alkalosis okay metabolic alkalosis means there is increase in the ph okay increase in the ph 
and also alkalosis means increase in the ph means less hydrogen ion okay when there is less hydrogen ion okay when there is less hydrogen ion when hydrogen ion is less more and more potassium will be secreted into the tubular fluid okay this is a renal tubular cell okay renal tubular cell this is tubular fluid okay tubular fluid later it will be formation of urine okay not blood it is tubular fluid okay more and more when there is less of hydrogen so more and more potassium will be released into the tubular fluid so there will be loss of potassium so this also leads to hypokalemia that is interesting okay hypokalemia is the cause for metabolic acidosis as well as in hypokalemia there will be metabolic alkalosis okay so metabolic alkalosis leads to hypokalemia but hypokalemia may be due to some other factor then there will be metabolic alkalosis okay so this is the interesting feature what is the compensatory mechanism the compensatory mechanism compensatory mechanism mechanism so there is in excess of base so so this excess of base mean there is definitely less hydrogen ion okay so less hydrogen ion actually suppresses suppresses respiratory center respiratory center in the brain okay there may so it will lead to decrease respiratory rate or maybe to some extent hypoventilation okay because patient want to conserve to conserve carbon dioxide okay so suppose let me write our famous buffer bicarbonate buffer okay so metabolic also there is increase in the numerator when there is increase in the numerator compensatory is it tries to increase the acid component how to acid component definitely our pco2 will be converted to carbonic acid so body tries to conserve to the some extent okay to the some extent carbonic carbon dioxide so it can converted to carbonic acid so denominator also increase so that ratio will bring back to 20 is to 1 okay. this is one compensatory mechanism through lungs because whenever there is less hydrogen ion definitely suppresses respiratory center leads to hyperventilation another kidney try to increase excretion of because there is excess of bicarbonate so why this bicarbonate so kidney tries to eliminate this bicarbonate there is no reabsorption of bicarbonate more and more bicarbonate will be lost through urine okay this is the compensatory mechanism and also kidney tries to minimize the formation of ammonia or decrease formation of in the kidney tubular cells formation of ammonia ammonia Okay, as a metabolism of glutamine or glutamate, so it tries to decrease formation of ammonia. Okay, because there is excess base, it will try to compensate by increasing acid also. Okay, so increase excretion of bicarbonate, decrease formation of ammonia, and there will be hyperventilation leads to conservation of carbon dioxide to the some extent. This is the compensatory. mechanism in metabolic alkalosis okay that's about metabolic alkalosis thanks for watching